Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. In less than two months, the results of the review of Micron Technology came out, directly shocking the global technology community. The products of US memory chip giant Micron Technology have not passed China's network security review due to serious network security risks. According to relevant regulations, China's important infrastructure will stop purchasing Micron Technologies products. In this regard, netizens around the world applauded and expressed their joy, feeling that China has begun to fight back against the United States. You must know that this action is not simple, and it directly exposes Micron Technologies' conspiracy. In recent years, in order to obstruct the development of Chinese chips, the United States has been continuously increasing chip restrictions and has successively added more than 600 Chinese companies to the entity list. Now, Japan and the Netherlands have been drawn together to jointly limit the export of semiconductor equipment. However, China has always been friendly and does not target specific companies. It also provides a good business environment for foreign companies to invest in China. But it does not mean that China will not take action. Since it wants to take countermeasures, it must hit the key point and knock the mountain to shake the tiger. So, why did you choose Micron Technology? Next, China will clear away the layers of fog and have a look at the conspiracy layout of Micron Technology. First of all, use improper means to suppress competitors. From the perspective of the global memory chip market, Micron Technology is very leading in the two memory series, among which DRAM memory ranks third in the world, second only to South Korea's Samsung and SK Hynix. In terms of NAND flash memory, Micron Technology ranks fifth in the world, behind Samsung, Kioxia, SK Hynix, and Western Digital. Micron Technology has a certain position in the global storage market, which is regarded as the glory of American memory chips, and Biden also praised Micron Technology in public, an honor that only Micron Technology has. Therefore, Micron Technology can be called the son of America. The point is, what's going on behind Micron Technology's backside isn't very transparent. It can be seen from the US sanctions that the US previously mainly targeted advanced logic chips and issued new regulations in October last year, directly stipulating specific restrictions on memory chips. Behind this is the promotion of Micron Technology. According to relevant information, Micron Technology has been acting as the driving force behind the suppression of China's memory chip industry. In the past five years, Micron Technology has spent 9.54 million US dollars and has continuously increased its lobbying efforts to the US government. Micron Technology has successively targeted China's Fujian Jinhua, Yangtze River Storage, and Hefei Changshan in an attempt to obstruct the development of China's independent storage. The new US regulations in October 2022 not only restricted the technology upgrades and capacity expansion of Chinese enterprise storage manufacturers, such as Yangtze River Storage, and Hefei Changshan, but also affected the technology upgrades and capacity expansion of Samsung and SK Hynix's factories in mainland China. It has no impact on Micron Technology, because Micron Technology has not set up a memory wafer manufacturing plant in mainland China, 
and only has a packaging and testing plant in Lebanon. It can be seen that Micron Technology also wants to suppress competitors Samsung and SK Hynix at the same time. This is Micron Technology's conspiracy. Of course, China can no longer be merciful to companies that are full of troubles, and choosing to start with them is to expose their conspiracy. Second, in response to the call of the United States, deploy markets outside the mainland. Micron Technology not only does not have a memory wafer manufacturing plant in the mainland, but also disbanded the Shanghai DRAM R&D Center early last year, and wanted to take away the core R&D personnel on the grounds of applying for a green card. This is actually an important step for Micron Technology to implement the move of the United States away from the mainland, and Micron Technology's subsequent actions further illustrate the problem. When the chip ban began, Micron Technology was the first to cut off supply to Huawei. Today, Micron Technology is actively responding to the call of the United States to develop local chips. In the next 20 years, Micron Technology will invest 100 billion US dollars in the United States to build a semiconductor manufacturing park. Not only that, according to related news, Micron Technology plans to invest 1 billion US dollars to build packaging testing and module production lines in India. Recently, Micron Technology directly announced at a conference in Japan that it will invest 3.7 billion US dollars to build a DRAM factory in Japan. The point is that Micron Technology will also install ASML's latest EUV lithography machine, the first to bring EUV technology to Japan. Micron Technologies' continuous weakening of the mainland market layout and successive announcements to build factories outside the mainland is precisely Micron Technologies' conspiracy to silently cooperate with the US strategy. At this time, China announced that Micron Technology products have serious cybersecurity risks, which is also debunking the conspiracy. Announcing the survey results of Micron Technology, on the one hand, can promote the development of domestic storage, which allows more companies to choose reliable products. Samsung and SK Hynix were warned that they could not fill the gap, so only Yangtze River storage and Changshan storage are left. On the other hand, it is also shaking the mountain and shaking the tiger reminding those companies that do not keep their scale not to engage in small actions. He also stated that China is sending an important signal to the outside world and will not sit idly by foreign sanctions. This time it can be regarded as an official sword against sanctions. In this regard, some foreign media directly commented that the results of the review of Micron Technology show that China has begun to officially show its sword against sanctions. Thank you for watching this video.